Hello everyone. Welcome to Rose Garden Gems. I'm Gemma. It's actually 8 in the evening now in Lower Franconia, Germany. Today is Thursday and it's June 9. The last video that I shared with you lovely viewers was last Saturday. I made um, a rundown tour of my garden and since um, since then a lot of changes happen in my garden. The last three days a lot of flowers are having their uh, first flush of blooms. Most of the roses are actually adorned with so many uh, blooms now and actually I cannot cope up with the growth of the roses I have to make very fast uh, a personal rose review of each of the roses and that's my actually my main goal this year is to have um, an information of the roses in detail to share in my channel. As of now, the Eden, uh, this is a mini Eden, and it is smothered with blooms. And also Madame Louise has a lot of blooms. It is now, I think, a week that all of the blooms are opened. Well, some are still closed, but a lot of them are open now. The Eden 85 is really beautiful, even if it's fading away. And, but blooms are still coming. And as you can see, the mini Eden is actually very near to this blackberries that I have here. But it doesn't really matter to her. The beauty is there. And there's some roses that are just having one bloom, but it's a giant bloom. This is Biedermeyer. And another one here. This is Gaspel from Rosenthal. Look how beautiful the bloom is. It was opened already for, I think, five days. And it was really huge uh, flower. She has a problem here. It has um, ants. It has ants living um, at the base. So I have to take care of that. I have to somehow um, discourage the ants there. As you can see, one ant is moving there. You can see it. And in this area, Pullman Orient Express just opened today. Look at that. It's a real beauty, this one. I love the color. One of the beautiful flowers here. And Marian has a lot of clusters. We have at least one, two, three, four, five stems with clusters. But this is the first one that opened. Most of them are still closed. It rained just a few minutes ago. It was really dark sky here. But we even have a wind uh, rainbow now.
also my pollinators paradise. I have to do that heading soon. And the lavenders are doing really great this year. A lot of my lavenders are having now uh, flowers. She's nodding now here. This is uh, because of the water, because of the rain. That's Sneevichen. Has a lot of uh, it has a lot, it carries a lot of buds and a lot of them are still close. It's very beautiful rose. This is the rose that they call as white as the snow. Now these roses here, some have, this one has actually, is carrying some buds now. But it's a bit lanky. This was um, this was bought yes uh, last year as a bare root roses, and I I am really appreciating that it is growing now and even giving some blooms. And it's the height is quite high. This one too. This is actually. Mauritia, so I have about five roses last year. These are all from Rosen Tantau. One even fade away, I haven't seen it. But I will make a review of this. It's very timing then that the roses then will open. And this one is Mauritia, has a very li um, beautiful light pink color. Leonardo da Vinci is still intact. The blooms from here, you can see the zebra grass is very tall now. It's, it is as tall as me, actually. And then these roses are already starting to fade, so I have to do dead heading here as well, but I've got still buds here. This rose I haven't even seen, and now it's becoming bad. I have to, I have to remove it. I will get some more blooms there. I think. This one is incredible. This is a cappella. Look how large the blooms, how large the flowers are. Incredible. And smells so good. This rose smells really fantastic. Look at the spiral, perfect spiral form. It's very elegant. It's perfect for uh, a cut rose. I trimmed her uh, this spring really hard. Only, um, only the healthy stems. Look at this. This is a very nice. Look at that. It's a perfect shape of a rose, and the colors. And then the rain drops on it. So beautiful to look at it. And look at the leaves. The leaves are healthy. Incredible. This is also perfect. I will still uh, do as soon as possible a uh, rose review on her. My personal opinion on her. I've got red roses here. They were newly planted. This was um, used to occupy by Leonardo da Vinci, the pink color in this spot. 
but then I plant at this area, these are red roses, mostly from Rosenthal. Look at this guy.